How's it going, YouTube? My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. I'm a, I'm a painter. I create uh, oil and painting, landscapes, portraits, and everything in between. <laughs> Today, I want to talk to uh, uh, art collectors and interior designers. Uh, some of you are, are new to it and might not know some of the things, uh, some of the little tips I want to share with you. And if you haven't seen my other videos, check them out. Go to uh, YouTube, obviously. <laughs> and type in my name, Jose Trujillo, J-O-S-E-T-R-U-J-I-L-L-O, and uh, the words uh, interior design or art collector, and you'll find other videos related to, to, to those things. So uh, without, without delaying you so much, I want to talk to you about uh, a question that comes out often with, again, art collectors and interior designers. Uh, what when it comes to uh, oil paintings or, or any other painting, but uh, you know, specifically oil paintings, because that's what I do, so that's what I get asked, uh, how do you know what to, what to frame as opposed to just hanging uh, on the wall by itself, right, without a frame? Frame, no frame. How do you know? How can you discern what's the difference? Okay, so I just made a video about, uh, about different surfaces, canvas surfaces and, and painting surfaces, I guess. So I'm just going to show you very quickly again. This is canvas, right? Rose canvas. Um, sometimes you'll be you'll be uh, offered by artists a painting on canvas. Make sure to to find out if it's stretched or not. Okay? Sometimes it, it might not be. Might, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just the way that the artist uh, produces the work and, and ships it, or, or you know, that's the way they do it. For whatever reason, you know, maybe I, I I do it like that because I send out large pieces to interior designers, and it's more cost effective for for, uh, for them instead of uh, shipping freight or you know whatever. So or multiple pieces at once. So this is just canvas. You might get a painting like this. Make sure to know if it's stretch or not. Stretch means that you have wooden stretchers like this, right? uh in order to make something like this <laughs> okay <laughs> so this is a stretch canvas okay this is a small stretch canvas okay so how do you know once you get something like this how do you know whether to frame it or not okay well this is my rule of thumb okay the thinner the edge the most likely you want to frame it the thicker the edge you can you can you can frame it you can you can hang it without frame. That's really the that's really the bottom line. You know it's it's it's, it's simple like that. So I uh, paint a lot and, and plein air artists, other artists. You know not just plein air, but this is very familiar. This is very famous with plein air artists. These are called canvas canvas panels or canvas boards. Okay, these are very thin. See, there's nothing in the back uh, that you can you know. Uh, attach anything, you know, to hang it. So it's very obvious that you need to frame this piece, right? And uh, this one that I show you first, this is a stretched canvas. This is also canvas, but it's 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 adhered to 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 some sort of a board, right? Um, the thinner, <laughs> I guess, the most likely you have to frame it. Uh, this is this is not so thin. It's about half an inch, but it still it would look even nicer, I think, if it was framed. If if this was thicker, you can hang it boldly on 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 a wall. It'll it'll, it'll look really nice. Another another thing uh, when when it comes to to differentiating what to hang with frame or without a frame, usually the most the more modern the piece. This is this is. Uh, this is not always, okay, but, but you'll see that mainly with, with the more abstract, the more contemporary the piece, the more uh, a loose brushwork, the more, you know, the more abstract you get the piece, the thicker the canvas is going to be because those pieces uh, generally tend to hang without frames for the most part unless, unless they're doing something different, you know, the artist is doing something different or, or whatever, which it happens, but, but for the most part, the thicker the canvas, the more modern the piece, the less likely you'll be able to, you, you need to frame it. Uh, I think that's, <laughs> I solved another riddle, okay? Just remember, thin, frame. Thick, no frames. 
<laughs> My name is Jose Trujillo. I hope you enjoy this. I hope I didn't, I didn't go around <laughs> and make you more confused. Thank you so much for watching.